All right, guys, Matt back here from TNM Product Reviews, coming back with the battle belt or range belt. Got a couple more items we're going to talk about here today. So, just going to jump right into it here. Um, the first item we're going to talk about today is the um, headphone holder I have here, or headset holder, sorry. This is from Crydex. Um, it's the Crydex hearing protection holder. Um, so this retails right around $1,750. Uh, it's made out of polymer and it is compatible with most of your belt sizes that you're gonna see. So one and a half, one and three quarter and two inch belts. Uh, the belt that I have it on is it's supposed to be a two inch belt. However, um, I did have to cut a little piece inside the tech lock. It's not a legit tech lock on the back here. So that way it would fit on this belt with the bottom retainer. Pretty much just a giant snap. Unclip it, slide your headphones down in, snap it shut so your headphones actually hang down off of the front of your front or side or back, wherever you place this on your belt is where your, your headphones, your hearing protection will actually fall. Uh, now it will hold the width of the bottom here, so this actual width here is an inch and three quarter, so it's going to hold most of your, your tactical headsets. Um, Pelter, mass, walker, impact, anything like that. Um, so that is the Crydex hearing protection holder. Get it in tan, black, or OD green. All right, so moving around about here, we're gonna jump and we're gonna switch back here beside the med kit. So this is the, uh, the 1110 rigid tourniquet case. So obviously you're out on the range, best option to have a tourniquet this pouch actually has another one underneath if you need one you may need more always have a backup um, you get shot in one arm who's to say you're not gonna get shot in the leg or you're not gonna shot in the arm don't say you're not gonna get shot you don't know um, but anyhow so this is the like I said this is the 1110 rigid it holds the cat 7 tourniquets or any tourniquet prior so this one here is Honestly, I couldn't even tell you what brand this one is. Um, recon. This is a recon medical tourniquet that I have it in. So it's not the legit cat. I like this one. It actually has a metal rod instead of the plastic rod. Sorry, the furnace is turning on. Hopefully that doesn't pick up too bad on the audio. So the case itself, the pouch itself, retails for the multi-cam. Retails at $42.70. Or I'm sorry, $42.75. Um, like I said, it'll hold Cat 7 or any previous, let me get this tourniquet back in here. It does not like the recon medical tourniquets though. I will tell you that it did take, it does take a little effort to get those in there, but it holds them very nice. Um, it'll take any previous generation of the cat set or the cat tourniquets as well. Um, injection molded nylon. What else can I say? It does have a legit tech, tech lock on it, unlike the headphone clip. So this is a tech lock. This one mounted up perfectly, no problems. I didn't have to cut or adjust anything. It has the the adjustment holes right here the whole way up. So it did fit perfectly. And then the tourniquet itself, the case itself has multiple mounting points on the back of it. So you can actually remove the tech mount, no, the tech lock, turn it, twist it. You can mount this thing upside down, sideways, however you want it for your belt setup. Now the other thing is, is you take the tech lock off and it's actually compatible with a Safari Land drop leg. Um, so that's another nice part. If you're running a dual drop leg, you're running uh, like a left, if you're a right-handed shooter and you're running a left hand or a left, yeah, left-handed drop leg, you can actually mount this tourniquet right on this system as well. So that's nice as well. Um, so for the last thing we're going to talk about here, let me... We're going to switch over. So this is going to be the last video before the single video on the med kit or the trauma pouch or whatever you just want to call it on the back here. So the last thing I have is the Safari Land. This is their uh, QLS single strap, single leg strap. I'm sorry, single strap leg shroud because it has the full shroud here uh, with drop flex adapter QLS 22. Uh, so you can actually change the height 
the ride height on this with this uh, flex adapter. There's multiple mounting holes up through here. Uh, I like it single strap. I don't like a dual strap leg holster, but I wanted something. So normally my work, my work holster is, it's, I want to say it's a low ride. It covers my pocket. This is going to cover my pocket as well, but it's going to put the pistol in a more comfortable location for me to draw. Now, if you notice, there's nothing on this. Actually, there is. The QLS 19 mount is on there, and that's how that's how any of the holster systems mount. You mount your holster to this from Safari Land, or in my case, I'm getting a custom built holster for uh, from another company for my shield, and I'll explain that here in a minute. Um, but you will mount this to that holster. And then the nice part about this is if you have multiple weapon systems and you're out on the range and you want to shoot different guns, if all your holsters have this attachment on them, all you have to do is take one off. I'm going to fight with it now. Slide it down on. It locks into place. And that's it. Then all you have to do, reach around the bottom of your holster. There's two tabs. Squeeze them. And it slides right out. So... That's, uh, that's kind of my purpose is I wanted to be able, if, if I'm shooting my pistol, I want to have a holster with the QLS mount for my pistol. And then let's say I'm out doing uh, range day for work, qualifications, I, will have a, I would have a separate holster. Uh, in this case, it's a Glock 17 holster uh, with the QLS mount on it so I can swap it out. I'd have my own personal holster for my work, work, my work pistol. Uh, retail on the drop leg itself is $90. Uh, I want to say the QLS 19 mount is like $25 or $30. Don't quote me on that. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, belt size, it fits a 2 to 2 and a quarter inch belt. And you can get it in black, coyote, FD, FDE, foliage green, or OD green. So you get a couple options for color. I got the coyote. Kind of goes with the multi-cam option I was kind of going with. So um, let me explain the pistol part to you here. Let me get this belt put on and I will show you um, my current setup and why I have to get a custom pistol or a custom holster for this mount and why it's taking so long. All right, guys, I'll be right back with you here. All right, guys, so we got the belt put back on. Um, so like I said, just puts the the mount in a more comfortable position. I might lower this, I might raise it up, I haven't decided yet. Um, let me go ahead and clear this pistol. Alright, so as you guys can see, pistol is unloaded, nothing down in the chamber. So this is my Smith & Wesson Shield, Shield 9. Um, but if you notice, the shields normally don't come with a rail or an option for a light so i'm running a recover tactical rail on my pistol with an olight pl mini 2 valkyrie and because of that i have to have a custom built holster for it nobody makes holsters for the shield with that uh with that setup so um i went through a company called cook's holsters and had this is my belt slide holster i had made for my shield uh, I also have a paddle holster, but they do an option for a QLS 19 mount. So eventually I will have a mount for my shield for this QLS mount. Now it's going to put the pistol right about there, roughly, uh, give or take a little bit. So most of your mounts are up here. You're, you're, you're kind of chicken winged with this mount where it's at. This is the stock height. This is where it comes from the factory. My pistol's right about here, and that's about where my arm hangs down normally. So if I'm just hanging normally, that's where it's at. So I'm not coming up too much further to grab to my pistol. So that's why it's taking so long to actually get the holster for on the side of this. Uh, it's because it is being custom built through Cook's holsters. Um, they're a little backed up, I'm guessing due to everything going on nowadays um, as well as Black Friday the holidays people are buying new guns left and right and I have no problem with that I will wait so that is the custom Kydex holster obviously again 
multi-cam. Uh, it's not really multi-cam. It's called Super Cam on Tan. Um, but the nice part about Cook's holsters, this holster runs uh, right around $60, $70 with the discount that I had. Um, they don't charge for custom prints like most custom Kydex companies do. They don't charge for them. So, like I said, eventually I will have a holster for my shield right here for this QLS mount. And then I'll get one uh, down the road, see if I can get one through work or if I got to get one for Glock 17. So then I can mount my work pistol here as well. So that way when I'm out on the range, I can see how this feels. Maybe I'll switch over to this for transports instead of my mid-ride uh, like level three Serpa style holster. All right guys, let me get you back up top here. All right guys, so there you have it. I'm actually gonna take this belt off while I'm standing here. There we go. So that is the next three parts. So the um, Crydex headset, polymer headset holder, the Safari Land QLS leg shroud, single strap, flex drop, whatever fancy thing and the uh, 1110 rigid tourniquet holder. Um, so that's gonna be the next three items on the belt. Last video I got coming up for you here, and it's gonna be a longer one, is gonna be on this trauma kit. So this trauma kit's actually from Odin Medical, um, and the pouch is actually made by Coyote Tactical Solutions. That's their stomp pouch. So that's gonna be coming up on the next video. All right, guys, later.